Hey y'all, Grizz here at Windmill Farms, North Mississippi. Today's adventure is we're going to change out the handguard on our AR-15. So y'all come on back and watch as we change out the handguard on the AR-15, alright? Alright y'all, welcome back. As I said, this week we're going to take care of changing out this regular plastic handguard that comes with them <clears throat> for a two-piece aluminum quad rail that we're going to put on it because we have some accessories I'm wanting to add to this. Now, you can get the little accessory block, uh, the little Picatinny rail that will fit on the bottom and the top of these. I just, I would rather just go ahead and change over to the quad rail. This is an inexpensive quad rail. I didn't put a lot of money into, so we're not out much money. Now, this is a hand guard removal tool. $9.99, $8. Uh, you can pick this thing up at, man, just about anywhere. All right. Biggest thing is, is you got to get that thing pulled down good and tight. And for me, it's always the same dang thing. And that is, well, there we go. And that's just getting that thing to come apart originally. It's really not that it's hard to, to push this thing down with your, your removal tool. I just find that the things kind of stick together. Now, I know folks who can do this just simply by pulling down on the on the, uh, on the the rail itself, uh, see, um, who can actually just pull down on this retention uh, ring right here. I find that between trying to pull it down, do it, and everything else, I can't get it done. That's quick removal. You seen how quick it was? This tool, for nine bucks, if you're going to change your, your hand, hand guard out just one time, it's worth it y'all you can do it with a pair of pliers you can do it just with your hand but i find that between trying to pull this down because you can see i can pull it down but between trying to pull it down and get the hand guard off i'm just not that good at it now you got your gas up here Well, if I can get it fit in there just right. Well, hold on, y'all. Give me a second. Shows you how ignorant I am. I didn't even look. On most quad rails, they'll come. This one says T, and it has numbers, has L and R. That's left, right, and top, right? Very simple. Larry didn't look before he grabbed it. I was wondering why it wasn't going in as quick and easy as it should. But if you grab it, you line up your gas block, push down, there it is. You put your top on first, come back. Get your second, get your bottom here. There you go. Now we're going to get the, the actual... Uh, set screws put in place and we'll be done i'll be right back all right all right y'all it's installed all i did was tighten down the screws you weren't missing nothing all i did was there's four set screws two here two here all you missed was me putting them in i didn't think you needed to watch me do that the other thing that we're going to put on today is a forearm grip but this particular grip also has a bipod built into it um this is given to us by a friend of ours now just to show y'all it's empty i don't want y'all thinking i'm pointing a loaded weapon around that's got a good feel to it it's in about the right place it's got a bipod so you can get stable to take a little bit longer uh, range shot if you need to. But it also goes right back up into your hand guard. That actually feels very good. Alright, man. That's it. It didn't take long at all. Um, if you're going to use... This is a, a real inexpensive. I think I paid like 9 
$18 for it, $19 for it, quad rail. Um, just make sure, like I did, that you put the top on first. Make sure that you, now that, I just had a gas impingement system. I did not have a, a um, piston. Uh, the piston's a lot larger up here toward the gas block. Um, if, you, if you're going to get one of these cheaper aluminum, just know that sometimes if you've actually got a piston in there, because of the size up here on the top, it doesn't always fit. Um, make sure your stuff fits before you put it on, okay? Uh, but for a very, very inexpensive handguard, um, I couldn't beat this little quad rail. It allowed me to add this. I've got a uh, site that's going to be going on here before long. Um, sorry, I was having to take something off there. I've already got my, my pop-up sites on here which I've always liked because they lay down, allows you to put an optics on top of your uh, platform if you want to. So only thing I'm fixing to do now is I'm fixing, I've got some actual um, uh, Pictini rail uh, guards to put on here. Uh, this is so you don't mess up your hands and stuff. And not only that, it keeps some of the heat off your hands. That's the one thing that a lot of folks uh, talk about going from the original GI issue plastic um, hand guard like this to a quad rail is the heat because this being plastic and it actually has uh, baffles in it to help um, with the heat um, a lot of folks just realize there's a heat difference so just know that all right so look y'all if y'all got any questions um, please ask away um, we've had a lot of questions about the red flag law one i put up the other day i've tried to answer each one of them as fast and quickly and as accurately as i can uh understand y'all if i come across something i don't know i'm not gonna make up something for y'all i'm either going to ask another expert or i'm going to tell you i don't know that's as simple as it is but look before y'all do a removal go get yourself a little ten dollar tool makes all the difference in the world makes it to where you can change it out very quickly y'all seen how quick i done this so hey y'all come on back and join us next time if you like this video give me a thumbs up please comment in the down below if you haven't already done so subscribe to our channel come on over and see what we're doing with it being winter late winter um we're kind of in the down time so that's right i'm doing a little bit more gun videos right now while i have time making holsters and doing gun repairs in the house so Y'all, thank y'all for coming and joining another adventure with me today. I'm going to ask y'all to have a blessed day as I always do. Hope that you do. I'm going to ask God to give y'all a blessed day. Uh, he gives me one every day. And uh, as always, be safe. All right, y'all. I put the rail covers on. If you notice that there is a small one down here uh, because of where we got this. These things are rubber. If you really and truly want one down here, you can cut this and apply it. These things are the easiest things in the world to apply, okay? Um, they do have little uh, notches that actually fit in the rail system itself. If you line them notches up on one side like that and then simply press down on the other, you heard it click, it's there. Now, you have your system this is all protected now and believe it or not it gives you a good gripping position if there's a reason why you need to let go of this and go here uh, for whatever reason um, you've got a good good thing there all right that's a little tidbit i added in there